Liver biopsy remains a cornerstone in the diagnosing and management in liver disorders. Endoscopic ultrasound-guided liver biopsy has evolved as an alternative method to traditional percutaneous route. Adequacy of liver biopsy is paramount for accurate interpretation. The AASLD criteria for adequacy includes 11 or greater complete portal tracts and a total length of 1.5 cm minimum, and ideally 3 cm. Recently, a randomized controlled trial showed percutaneous ultrasound-guided method yielded significantly more optimal specimens than endoscopic ultrasound liver biopsy. The optimal specimens was defined as a specimen length of 25 mm or greater and the presence of at least 11 complete portal tracts. In the percutaneous group, 57.9% achieved adequate specimens, but in the endoscopic ultrasound guided group, only 238 achieved adequate specimen. Our group recently developed a novel technique for EUS guided liver biopsy using dynamic suction, EUS LBD. It utilizes a simple variation in the application of wet heparin suction during EUS tissue procurement, and the tissue yields have improved dramatically at our center. The first step is priming the needle. We prime the needle with 3 cc of heparinized saline. With the heparin drawn up into the syringe, we attach the syringe to the FNB needle. We advance out the needle and flush through the needle until a few drops leave the tip. We then apply suction to the syringe. We typically use a three actuation technique using a primed Francine tip FNB needle. For the initial throw, we ensure that the stopcock syringe is not attached to the needle. Not placing the stopcock syringe initially prevents any obstruction to flow of fluid that is displaced as the liver specimen is brought into the needle. Hence, pushing the fluid proximally closer to the handle. The actuation is performed with a rapid throw, fully extending the needle to the set length of the needle guard. This is the time to attach the stopcock syringe to the needle and do a brief open and close of the suction. We call this fixing the needle. The reasoning behind this step is to ensure that the liver specimen has been fully drawn into the needle. The quick open and close provides about two seconds of suction only. Too long a duration of suction can lead to fragmentation of the tissue. The needle is then withdrawn to about 1 to 2 centimeters from the capsule to reposition for the next actuation. For the next actuation, we turn the suction on just before initiating the throw. Once the needle is fully extended, the suction is turned off. Applying suction before actuation facilitates upward pull of needle contents to facilitate further withdrawal of tissue into the needle. The same sequence is performed on the third actuation, where we turn on the suction just before initiating the throw. Once the needle is fully extended, the suction is turned off. The needle is then withdrawn under Doppler flow. We then attach a 10cc saline flush syringe to the inlet of the 19 gauge needle to express the liver biopsy specimen out of the needle onto a plastic tray. We tip the tray to drain the excess fluid so that we can better identify the individual pieces. Using a needle, we separate the blood clots from the specimen and place the specimen into a cassette that is lined with filter paper. Here is a recap of the dynamic suction technique. The first actuation has no stopcock syringe attached. Firm throw. Syringe is immediately attached. Suction on. Suction off. Fixing the needle. The next throw, right before the actuation, suction on, throw, suction off, withdraw to your reset position, last actuation, suction on, throw, suction off, 
withdraw from the liver under Doppler flow. Our single center experience is as follows. EUS liver biopsy with dynamic suction technique was performed on 30 patients for a variety of reasons. The average fixed tissue length was 6.45 centimeters. The longest single core length was 5.9 centimeters. Our average complete portal track was 25.13. 40% of patients had F4 fibrosis. There was a 100% technical success rate and diagnostic adequacy with zero serious complications. Dynamic suction is a simple modification to the EUS liver biopsy wet heparin suction technique and yielded a dramatic improvement in liver tissue acquisition at our center, far exceeding the double ASLD criteria for adequacy and other published EUS LB studies. This technique allowed for accurate fibrosis staging in cases of advanced fibrosis. EUS LBD is an effective and reliable technique for adequate tissue acquisition for EUS guided liver biopsy.